You would not believe some of the things that people swallow. In fact, just in kids under five, there are over 60,000 reported cases of foreign body ingestions annually in the United States. And that's not even counting adults, where rates are on the rise. And if you're anything like me, when you heard that statistic, you might be thinking, why in the world are the rates of foreign body ingestion on the rise with adults? Are adults just getting more adventurous with the items they are placing in their mouths? Well, we will address that. And of course, we have compiled a list of some of the craziest things people swallow, some of which I've actually seen with my patients in the clinic and hospital. And some of these items are harmless. Some of them are kind of gross, and some are dangerous and require medical intervention. So we'll cover what to do in those situations. And of course, cover some myths, such as if it's dangerous to swallow something like gum. It's going to be a gulping one. So let's jump into this anatomical awesomeness. So let's actually start with a mythical item that a lot of people have swallowed before, and that is gum. And the reason I called it a mythical item is because a lot of people have heard that if you swallow gum, it'll stay in your stomach for seven years. Oh, how us humans can be gullible. Now, in the defense of us gullible humans, it is true that your body cannot break down gum. It's indigestible. But that doesn't mean it like sticks to the inside lining of your stomach like it sticks to the underside of a desk in school. Plus, we ingest indigestible substances all the time, like fiber. So let's break down what's actually going on here. If you choose to swallow gum, it will move from your oral cavity, which most of us refer to as the mouth, and into the pharynx. The pharynx is a fancy pants name for the throat. It'll then move from the pharynx into the esophagus, which transports food down to the stomach. And once it hits the stomach, this is where the myths begin, because many people have heard that the digestive enzymes and even the hydrochloric acid secreted by the stomach cannot break down the gum. And I actually did my own little experiment years ago in this lab to prove this to be the case. I got some hydrochloric acid and mixed it to the same concentration of your stomach acid, plopped some gum in there, left it in there for hours, and it didn't break it down at all. But this is totally okay. The stomach is a moist environment constantly secreting mucus. The gum will not stick to the inside of your stomach. And as the stomach contracts, it will propel that gum into the small intestine. It'll then move through the 20 feet of the small intestine and eventually make it to the large intestine. And as a general rule, for most of the items that we'll talk about today that people swallow, once an item makes it to the large intestine, it's pretty much home free. Because the large intestine has a larger diameter than the small intestine, plus the item is going to start mixing with the stool. So it's less likely to get stuck in there and will eventually just plop out into the toilet. And this is the case with gum. Now I do have to say that in very rare cases, there is a possibility you could get gum stuck in the stomach if you swallowed a ton of it in a very short period of time to the point where it clumped together in a gum mass so large that it couldn't pass through the pyloric sphincter of the stomach. But again, it would take a lot. So this does not apply to the majority of people. However, we will see something next that some people will swallow a lot of and it gets stuck. And it's one of those things that you don't want to look at, but you have to look at it because it's so bleh. But before we show you the item you should not swallow, let's talk about something that would be great for you to swallow. And that is these wonderful creatine monohydrate gummies from the sponsor of today's video, Create. These guys created the first creatine monohydrate gummy, which is awesome for multiple reasons. One, they use the highest quality of Creapure creatine monohydrate, which has been third party tested for quality. Plus, they taste great, as they come in flavors like blue raspberry or sour green apple which has actually been a little bit of a problem at my house because people keep getting into my stash of creatine gummies. But once you get past the thievery and treachery of your family members, you can revel in the joy of how convenient these gummies are. No need to mix it in with a drink or shake. You can just pop a few of them into your oral cavity and chew them up, which I especially love when I go out of town. I no longer have to pack a whole bottle of creatine or transfer powder into a little Ziploc bag. Now I've been taking creatine for years now, and I talk a lot about it with my patients and friends, and I find very few reasons for people not to be supplementing with creatine. Because yes, creatine clearly helps improve exercise performance, but it can also help improve cognitive function and even help with sleep deprivation. So if there's a high quality creatine product like Create, I can definitely support that. So if you're interested, go to trycreate.co slash humananatomy and use our coupon code humananatomy to get 30% off. 
That link will also be in the description below. And now, let's get back to things that we probably shouldn't swallow. So let's talk about the stuff that I previously and so eloquently described as bleh, and that is hair. If enough hair is swallowed, it can build up in the stomach and create a tangled hairball mass called a trichobezoar. I mean, look at those. They're hairballs in the shape of the stomach. Now, trichor refers to hair and bezoar refers to mass. These can cause abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and even weight loss from the blockage. And this is not something that's just going to pass through naturally. They'll have to be removed. For smaller ones, they can be removed by endoscopy, but for the larger ones, and there have been ones reported to weigh as much as four to six pounds, open surgery is going to be needed for those. Now, I do need to be clear here. This isn't something that just happens when you're swallowing a few hairs in your sleep or you accidentally get some hairs in your mouth when you're eating. This is actually from individuals who have mental health conditions, often from trichophagia, which is compulsive hair eating. And this also gives us a chance to cover what I mentioned in the intro when I said that foreign body ingestion is on the rise with adults. There are a few reasons for this. One of them is the increase in mental health conditions. But other reasons for increased foreign body ingestion in adults includes alcohol intoxication and substance abuse. People are more likely to swallow things they shouldn't in those situations, as well as due to an aging population. Older individuals can have issues with swallowing and dementia can also play a role. Next, let's talk about swallowing round metal objects like coins. These items are very common with kids and often parents will get freaked out if their child swallows one of these objects. Now, I actually had a pediatric case where the child swallowed a metal pendant that was similar to the shape and size of a coin. And when the mom brought the patient in, she was actually pretty scared. The little boy, on the other hand, seemed to be quite proud of himself. But the mother said to me, one minute I saw my kid playing with the pendant and I turned my head for a few seconds and then it was gone. I didn't actually see him swallow it, but I'm pretty sure that he did. And I said, well, we'll just take an x-ray because it's pretty easy to see metal objects on an x-ray. And sure enough, I showed the mom the x-ray and there was a nice circular metal pendant in her child's stomach. And initially she freaked out even more and was like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? And I just looked at her and said calmly, we're gonna do nothing. And for a split second, I was about to get the worst medical review that you could possibly imagine. But then I followed that up with, most of the time, objects like coins, pendants, will pass right through the body without a problem. And so I told her everything was likely going to be just fine. And that if the pendant was some very important family heirloom, she would be able to retrieve it in about one to two weeks in her child's poop. Now, I don't wanna make it sound like swallowing coins or similar metal objects can't ever be a problem because there are times where they can be. Larger coins or metal objects can get stuck in the esophagus, causing drooling, chest pain, vomiting, or sometimes trouble breathing or trouble swallowing. And in those cases, they will need to be removed by endoscopy. With the kid that I just mentioned a second ago, the object had already passed to the stomach and he was showing no signs or symptoms of having any distress. So because of checking those boxes, the level of concern was very low. But now let's move on to some items that can be more dangerous. Swallowed batteries are no joke. And if these are lodged or stuck in the esophagus, this is a medical emergency because necrosis of the esophagus can occur due to liquefaction from the electrochemical reaction and may lead to ulceration within a few hours of ingestion and perforation in as early as eight hours after ingestion. So these will need to be removed by endoscopy. If the battery does not get stuck in the esophagus, the situation is a bit better. Like coins, most button or cylindrical batteries pass harmlessly once they reach the stomach. However, if the battery can't pass through the stomach, like if the battery is too large or the pyloric sphincter is very small, like in children under five, there's still the potential for direct injury to the inside lining of the stomach and toxicity. And in these cases, the battery will need to be removed. Swallowed magnets can be an interesting one especially those strong rare earth types from toys and some household appliances. Now, if it's just one, it can often pass through like a coin without much of a problem. But if two or more get swallowed, especially at different times, they can attract each other across loops of the intestinal wall. Like imagine if you had one here and one here, pinching these two loops together like a clamp. This can cause tears, perforations, or even tissue death within hours to days. Kids, again, are the main victims here with reports of twisted bowels or deadly infections, but it can sometimes also happen to adults. Again, with two or more magnets, 
intervention is almost always needed. X-rays can usually spot their positions right away, and if they're attracting, you'll need endoscopy or surgery to remove them and repair the damage, sometimes even requiring resecting sections of the bowel, which means surgically cutting out the damaged or dead portions and then reconnecting the healthy ends to restore normal function. So the last two we discussed mostly affected kids, but let's talk about something that is actually pretty common in adults, and that is swallowing bones. But sometimes other potentially sharp objects can get swallowed, like nails. And I should probably specify fingernails or actual metal nails, because let's be honest here, both have been swallowed by us humans. Fingernails aren't going to be much of a problem and we'll just pass through, so we won't spend much time on those. But if a small bone gets swallowed whole, it also often passes through harmlessly. And something that's interesting is that we learned that stomach acid doesn't really do anything to gum. However, over time, stomach acid can actually soften up bones. But sometimes that bone will never see the stomach acid because of that pesky esophagus. If it gets stuck in the throat or the esophagus, it can scratch or perforate the tissue, leading to infection or abscess. And rarely, and let's really stress rarely here, even migrate to areas like the heart, which is right in front of the esophagus. Symptoms might include difficulty swallowing, chest pain, or fever if things get infected. And of course, if lodged in the esophagus, endoscopy will be performed to remove the bone. But again, if you accidentally swallow a bone and you don't have any symptoms, it's likely going to pass right on through. Now, construction workers have been reported to accidentally swallow a nail if they're holding them in their mouth. But there are individuals who have mental health conditions that have swallowed multiple nails. Now, if it's just one, you treat it very similar to a bone and it could very well just pass through on its own and only would need to intervene if it gets stuck or lodged. Obviously, in the situation of mental health conditions and multiple nails being swallowed, there's a high likelihood that there's going to need to be an endoscopy performed or even potential open surgeries. But that's our list for the crazy things that people swallow. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned some really cool, useful information. And we'll see you in the next video.